The jardiniere or flower pot here beside me is really one of the largest that we know. The entire culture of gardening and uh, working with flowers was something that um, really took a step forward uh, with Queen Mary, um, who together with King William uh, co-reigned England and Holland from 1689 to 1694, the death of Queen Mary. And Queen Mary had these objects in her gardens and greenhouses both at Palace at Lowe here in Holland in Apeldoorn or at Hampton Court Palace just outside of England. And at the moment there's a lot of attention for these flower vases um, at Palace at Lowe also where they were uh, funded for a project to do these garden vases um, in the gardens of Palace at Lowe itself. This particular piece here was produced towards the end of the 17th century uh, it is unmarked, so I don't need to turn it around for you. Um, uh, but it has all the hallmarks of Adrian Cox. Adrian Cox was the factory owner of the Greek A from 1686 to 1701. And he was really the person who produced a lot for Queen Mary and was very much in touch with the latest fashion because of that. The garden vase is decorated with a lush bouquet of flowers with some, with some insects sitting either on the leaves or flying around them. But for a fun factor and a little interesting piece is this element over here, also with flowers, the spider hanging from his web, uh, going towards a very big beetle here towards the base of the vase. Apart from the decoration, there are certain elements that we find on other Adrian Cox produced pieces, like the heads and here sitting underneath the actual handles, ears, where you would carry a garden vase like this. This vase turned up in 1965 in the collection of Cor Wegenaar, a dealer from The Hague, and was illustrated in the handbook of the Delft Fair, the antique fair of the world at that point. Now, after 50 years, I'm happy to present it in my collection.